Oh, of course, of course. Hi guys, <laughs> it is time for a beauty drawer video. I haven't done one of these in a really long time and I need to get back to doing them on a bi-weekly basis. So this is my everyday makeup drawer right here. Um, I call this my shop my stash uh, bi-weekly beauty drawer situation. <laughs> Um, but lately I've gotten a little bit lazy about it and things have been sitting in here literally for a month before I change them out. So the idea is that I shop from over here in this larger Alex 9 drawer. And this is my cat, Chi Chi, by the way. Um, she, uh, lately wants to be in all the videos. So she's old, she's 15. So I kind of let her do whatever she wants at this point. Pardon my business mess over the hair. This is actually like my like working office. <laughs> I record in here, but it's my actual like work office. So anyway, that's work stuff over there. So I pull things out of here. If you are curious about what is in all these drawers, I do have a makeup collection video from earlier this year that I will link down below. But let's dive through what I pulled out for this latest beauty basket. Containers are from the Target dollar spot and these are actually just cardboard boxes that um, like came with some skincare <laughs> so I'm using them to sort of separate my makeup instead of just throwing it all into this drawer I just used some containers that I already had to separate things um, I do know that there are specific acrylic dividers available for these Alex drawers um, but I I don't need to spend money on that. I have my cardboard boxes and they work just fine. Okay, so, sorry, I'm gonna try to like, sorry. <laughs> I have my tripod going here, so anyway. Um, over here in this container, I do keep all of my foundation type products. So my Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense, this is a must have for me, it's an SPF 30. Love that. I also have my favorite eye primer in here, the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Foundation-wise right now, I'm using Laura Geller Balance and Brighten, and then the Tarte Amazonian Clay Powder Foundation. I do have an in-depth review either already up of this or coming up, so um, I'll link it down below if it's already up. Um, Laura Geller, sorry, not Laura Geller, Lorac Pro Translucent Blurring blurring translucent pressed powder there we go and then there's also another Tarte Amazonian clay pressed finishing powder down there by Terry hyaluronic hydro powder and then the Laura Geller um, filter filter fix baked correcting powder in universal apricot love both of those those are just gonna stay in there for all time and then this is amazing hi guys <laughs> this is my invisible light duo from bare minerals this came in boxycharm in july and i love it i love this product you can purchase this either at sephora or ulta on its own for 32 dollars. so love that okay this is for blushes as well as my contouring powder which right now is the mirage filter from mark jacobs and i am almost done with the contour portion here. You can see I've used the heck out of that. I don't use that yellow powder as much as I thought I would. I wish this was available on its own, but as far as I know, it is not. I've got a very messy handprint hourglass blush palette in here from the holidays a couple years ago. I'm really excited about the one coming out for this holiday season. It's on my list. Like, I'm gonna get it. It's gorgeous. I love Hourglass products. I still have the Dim Infusion in here as well. This is a peachy shade. Two drugstore blushes from Milani and Bella Rosa, as well as uh, Delizioso Pink. I also have a blush, well, a couple blush palettes up there, so we'll get to those. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So I've got some eyeshadow singles and a quad over here. Um, these these are obviously from NARS. Um, I will no longer be purchasing from NARS going forward, but um, 
I still have things in my collection that are not from cruelty-free brands that I purchased prior to that decision. Um, and I just, I don't throw those products away. I view that as wasteful. I'm going to finish what I have and then just obviously not repurchase. So I've got Dione and um, Himalaya as well as Rigel. These are the dual intensity eyeshadows. I really like these. It's really unfortunate that NARS made that decision. I have a Jane Airedale eyeshadow in here from my Beauty Fix box this month. Ardencian in rose gold. I love this. I love it because it's a beautiful color, but I also love it because it was a gift from my friend Stephanie over at Flourish XO. I have a Duop duet here. Um, Brulee from Wet n Wild and Nutty from Wet n Wild. And then this is a cargo quad here. This is the Cools, right? Essential palette in cool neutrals. So there's that. Okay. Um, lip products, there's a lot. I'm not going to go through each like individual thing, but I have some lipsticks from NARS. These are the NARS Audacious. There's four of those in there. There's a lip liner from Laura Geller. There are lots of lip glosses in here because I'm loving just that natural lip look right now. Um, just a light flush of color and a lot of gloss. It's summer. It's perfect. So I have a few butter glosses in here. I also have a few, well, a couple buxom products in here as well. Celeste and then Dolly. Celeste is a lip polish and this particular Dolly is a full-on lip cream. I also have just some lip conditioners in here. This one's from Cora's in the guava flavor. Um, there's one down here from Smith's in the Tropical Ambrosia and then the Smith's in the um, Mandarin Rose down here. And then I also have a couple of these Bare Minerals um, lipsticks, these minis. So anyway, lots of fun lip products to play around with there. This drawer back here are my brow and eyeliner and mascara things. So um, it's honestly just the usual. So Essence Mascaras by Terry Mascara. Paula's Choice Mascara. Um, I really love this duo called Baked Cake Eyeliner in Blueberry and Dutch Chocolate. Love this. Um, I love powder eyeliners. <laughs> I will also just use like a black or a brown from a lot of my palettes. So, and then a couple of brow pencils. One from Fiona Styles. One from NYX and Winky Lux. So that is everything in there. And then let's close that and let's move to the palettes that I pulled. Okay, so first I have the Becca Ombre Nudes. Love this. Just open that real quick if I can. This is, these are perfect neutrals. Great, matte, easy, everyday. Love those. This is a one of the Tarte round discs. This is the Rainforest After Dark. This is really pretty. If this is still available, you should try to find this because it's gorgeous. First off, that blush is amazing, but these are some nice kind of neutral, cool toned shades in here. I love this so much. It's really powdery, <laughs> but I like it. Buxom, Dolly's Wild Side. I love this palette. You're probably gonna see this in a favorites, a Friday favorites coming up here soon. This is the Laura Mercier Pro Artist Palette for Eyes. This is from back, way back in the day when it was a limited edition holiday release. I do believe that this is just a regular part of the collection now, so there you go. By the way, this is the camera that I use. It's just like a Nikon Cool Picks. I'm not one of those fancy YouTubers. <laughs> and then I have two um, Tarte Holiday Blush Palettes from a couple of years ago that I pulled. And then I have the Lorac Mega Pro One. And I decided to keep the Mega Pro 3 out as well because I'm just loving using it. So that's gonna stay out here as well. And this is how I organize my different palettes that are too large to fit in the drawer. I just stick them in this little thing here and then they sit on my desk like that. And this is where I get ready every single day. And this is... <laughs> This is what I look at when I'm recording videos. This is my window with my fantastic natural light, which I rely heavily on. 
And yeah, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.